Hello everyone. Early here in the morning. So today I am going to be going live with my beautiful pageant sister Chelsea Martin who represented beautiful New Zealand and I'm looking forward to letting her join this live with us today so we can get chatting and I hope you guys enjoy. So we're just going to wait for a few people to join the live and then wait for Chelsea to join the live as well so we can get going. Oh, already people joining. Okay, let's find my Chelsea. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Over here. There. Hello! <laughs> How are you? I'm doing good, thanks. Um, it is 6 p.m. here in New Zealand right now. The sun has practically gone down. Nice. Um, nice. It's 8 a.m. here in the Netherlands, so, I mean, completely different times. You're at the other side of the world, so Absolutely. I'm so happy you could join us here today. So, as many people know, we got a few little video lives going. Last time I had Elwana here, so I'm honored to have you here. I've missed you. I've missed you. It's been so oh. long. I know Too it long. has. Too long. Man, September, it's fl time has flying by, like flown by, definitely. Oh yeah, 100%. No. I swear, we're literally just in the Philippines like a month ago. I know, it, do it does feel like a month ago, doesn't it? Yeah. So how's everything going? Like, how's how's the situation in New Zealand, you know, with COVID-19 going on? How, how How's it going? Yeah, tell me. Um, so right now, um, we don't have any, we're not on lockdown or anything. Um, mm -hmm. We're very fortunate. Um, however, yes. uh, people that are coming to New Zealand, they're residents, um, they have to quarantine for two weeks before they're allowed to, you know, be let out into New Zealand. So... Um, honestly, really, really privileged and um, very lucky to have uh, Jacinda Ardern be our president, our president Prime mm. Minister of New Zealand. <laughs> um, I mean, yeah, fair Do you know what? I've been reading about a few little things going on in New Zealand. Just the way they've controlled the situation there, you must be so proud to be living in such a great place because they've had it quite under control. Obviously, there have been a few cases, but that's more than normal. Tell me, how, how has the process been there? How have they been dealing with it? Uh, yeah, just explain to the viewers how everything's been going on over there. Absolutely. Um, so I, well, in my opinion, Jacinda really got onto it as soon as she could. Um, yeah went straight from level two to level three and then level four in a very short period of time, time yeah. um level four was lockdown um Complete. yeah i was well see I, i've got an office job so i was working from home um it was really interesting dynamic um yeah. Tell, yeah tell us about that how was that working from home like obviously yeah. a complete different routine than going to your day-to-day -day job and then suddenly having to be at home and probably working from the laptop tell us about how how that went i must tell you the truth um it was really hard to begin with because um it's just you know i'm so used to that commute to going yeah. to work and then kind of yes. having that time to turn on yeah. um, and then like really get into, you know, get down and ready with it. But I, you know, you just get up from your bed, um, <laughs> yeah. well, the first thing yeah. you roll out of bed, um, turn on the laptop and you're at work. So yeah. um, I really had to come up with some type of a routine and um, what I would try and do was, you know, set an alarm in the morning, Try and yeah. get ready, like I'm getting like ready a like a routine to get used to because yeah. obviously what we're used to is our alarm going off to work and then we go to work then you've got like your break I guess at home it's just easier to just stay behind the laptop most of the time and you forget mm -hmm. about time and then before you know it's the evening and you've worked the whole day so how That's how did you plan much. everything? Um, so I definitely I, I had to I had to set alarms. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah, that's absolutely. a good one. So, yeah, so you know, it was back to like high school prime into me <laughs> having having your own little bell go off. <laughs> exactly, bell for morning tea, bell for lunch. Yeah, Chelsea, time to eat some food. You know, take a break <laughs> from work. Yeah, I can imagine. But honestly, 
um, it was just making sure that you don't neglect your health. Um, and that honestly helped me stay productive. Yeah. Because, you know, really looking after my body, yeah. I was able to, you know, I was eating and then I was turned on ready to start my next project or to continue yeah. with work. So, yeah, I can um, imagine. I, and I, I know that, um, you know, Audrey was talking about how he and his family, he makes sure that he cooks dinner, you know, to yeah, make sure I love that. there is a time when he finishes work. I yeah. definitely agree with that. Um, you know, just, just setting some type of task where you have to go, okay, I have to. Now it's time to do yeah. something else. Now it's time to take a break. Yeah. I can imagine a lot of people struggle because uh, obviously from going uh like to work on a daily basis and then suddenly the whole change of no you have to stay at home work at home it's good to have them guidelines to basically tell yourself that yes now i need to go uh, make some food or yes now it's time to just go and do something else maybe a little bit of cleaning and then get back to work and it, it's, yeah. it's, it's nice to have that kind of you know guidelines basically no, okay that's... so i have a question for you um how have your family been how have your friends been obviously because they deal with uh the same situation how how do you know how did they deal with the whole pandemic going on because obviously we deal with things differently you know have you been giving them tips as well it's always nice to to hear from you know your friends and stuff so tell me a bit about that um so during covid uh, with my friends i to be honest i'm typically more of a I like to be more of a homebody. Whilst I like to socialize with people, I'm very comfortable at home. Perfect. So other people who are not like that, um, they may have found it a little bit more hard than I did. Um, oh, especially the, the lack of contact with people. Yeah. So um, I really do encourage setting up times where you Skype with your friends and do like have a catch up. I mean, for work, we had work drinks on a Friday night at around you know, oh, that's nice. through Skype for business, you know. Oh, really just like a Skype call? Yeah, oh, yeah. That's cute. That's, a, that's just... a nice idea as well, you know. Uh, a lot of people forget that, as like, we think that we're all alone at home, but we still have, like, our social medias where we can keep in touch with people. I've been seeing a lot of people do, like, Zoom calls and, like, having their own little, you know, little chats through the phone. It, it's good stuff, to be fair. It's all good. No, absolutely. Um, my family's been good, too, though um yeah tell me how have they like have they been dealing uh like the same way as you are they happy to have you home more as well because i guess because uh, you live at home uh, our mm -hmm. parents see us more as well like do they enjoy having you back at home yeah uh, so just to give a little background story to the viewers um so i had two jobs um because i like to live Be busy lab. <laughs> yeah, I keep busy. Um, so um, one of my other jobs was uh, a frontline job. So um, I took the initiative to kind of move out just before it closed because there was a bit of a warning period. Yeah. Um, and um, just that's so nice. That that's so lovely of you. You know, make, making sure that uh, thinking of others, you don't want to put anyone else in danger as well. Good on you. Yeah. <laughs> um, but they they enjoy having me home now. I must I say. <laughs> And are you I'm are you close to your parents? Them. Yeah, no, absolutely. Like, absolutely. Tell them everything, unfortunately. Um, so yeah. if, I, if if you've done something to me, my parents know. <laughs> like, you know, this just 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 so close to them. Um, so, but, sorry, sorry, carry on. Sorry, I just wanted to quickly ask you again, like with um, obviously uh, COVID nineteen. How's the um, how's the situation there now? Obviously, you had the whole uh, level two, level three, level four. Is it gone down a little bit? I saw that actually in uh, you're in uh, Auckland. Auckland was it? Yes. Yeah. Um, there was not many cases there, which is very very lucky for you to have such a, a great situation to be in. Uh, how's it like now? What have the rules changed a little bit? What are what are people doing over there now? Um, so the government's pretty onto it, uh, especially since we don't have any community spread. So we, because of that, um, we're allowed to, you know, interact as normal as as long as there aren't really massive gatherings. But even yeah. so, because there isn't community spread, and we're yeah. really preparing um, the people in quarantine. So if you That's were to perfect. 
three, yeah, it's two weeks straight quarantine. You're put straight into a hotel and you've got to stay there for two weeks. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's, that's interesting. <laughs> I mean, it's service. Good service. Yeah, no, no, absolutely. Okay. Uh, I think so. Um, yeah. And so I'm just like, like you said, you know, I'm in a, I'm very lucky to be, live in New Zealand. Um, yeah, I think they're handling it great there. Yeah. Like, really. Like, you can tell that Jacinda really cares about her people. Um, yeah. And she always puts people first. So yeah. Very yeah, I can, I can imagine. Okay. So, <clears throat> sorry. Um, what are a few little things you can tell our viewers? Like, uh, when you do take a break from your your job, like what do you like to do in your little spare time? Like what do you do to stay active and uh, to have like a little guideline in, in your day-to-day -day life? Um, during COVID? I yeah, mean, during COVID. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah, so um, I really had to, like I said, you know, use those alarms. And yeah. uh, when... So I really tried to do little things that, you know, taught me new things. So I actually mm -hmm. learned how to make bread. I um, love that. <laughs> I'm, I'm not really great when it comes to cooking. I mean, I know how to feed myself. <laughs> that's good. I mean, that's a start. <laughs> yeah, I, you I, know, I, need to, I need to learn from you, Shy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, did you, uh, I got some cooking videos up, so you can check that out as well, you know? <laughs> So uh, all good, but bread interesting. Did did yeah. did it turn out good? Um, I uh, I had to practice a few more times. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. But, you know, <laughs> it was awesome because um, I had that time that you know you really need some quality time because you know you can be working a nine to five, um, yeah. stretching yourself more, especially during COVID when you're locked inside the house. But you really need to take that time to look after yourself. Oh, so yeah. <laughs> That means like learning new skills, but taking my own time to do it. So right, making yeah. bread is definitely something really cool that I can recommend. Or not <laughs> specifically bread, but I yeah, no, <laughs> I think bread's pretty cool. I mean, I, I've never tried making bread before, so maybe maybe I'll I'll give it a try actually next time. I think that's a good idea. Um. Yeah. So definitely learning how to cook, or even just um reading a book. Just just really taking some time to really like heal yourself because. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, tell me. People, people really don't think, you know, they think, oh, you're staying at home. You should be dealing with it well because you're just at home. But um, really, it's such a It can be a lot. That, yeah. Like it it's, can. It's it can. Like, yeah. And, like, you're, you're at home and you're by yourself and you're just, like, it's something new and it's something you haven't done before. I mean, who, if you had told me, like, five years ago that you're going to be going through a pandemic and you're going to be locked in your house, get ready now. Yeah. You, it's, it's really hard to believe first of all so you wouldn't think i don't you'd have to do i don't that. think you could ever be ready for something like this to be fair because uh and also because everyone deals with things differently right so yeah, exactly. uh, it can be it can be hard on people and that's why uh from from going from like a routine a daily routine that you're used to and then suddenly it just going complete switch up and then being at home staying productive and it's difficult that's why I, li I like how you said setting an alarm is a good idea you know because you just uh make time to do different things without it all becoming too much because it, things can become too much and a lot of people also think that um they may be the only people going through this but I think we all have uh, we've had our days where we're just like oh this is not this is not great at the moment but and something that I really need to like push is definitely like whilst it's fantastic to stay productive going through a situation like this can be extremely hard so mm. it is okay to have days where you where, don't do things. exactly like, nice little bed day you gotta, yeah you gotta heal your soul look after yourself and then you Agreed. know what you're so much more stronger for the next day 100% I totally agree with that definitely take a day for yourself where you're just like do you know what today work can have a, a little bit of a rest maybe um uh you know just to relax a little bit and maybe even just grab your laptop Netflix you know always good a few little snacks treat yourself and that would be good absolutely oh okay so I'm just gonna have a quick look at who's having like who's in our live Guys, feel free to ask any questions relating to 
um, the topic uh, today, also wanting to know anything about our beautiful Chelsea over here. Just uh, <laughs> pop it in the comments below and then uh, I'll make sure to keep an eye out so we can we can get asking. But in the in the meantime, I want to do something a little bit fun. Um, mm -hmm. I have this little uh, thing that I also did with uh, my former pageant sister, Oana. I want you to um, answer with the first thing that pops into mind when I ask you a question, okay? <laughs> okay, let's, let's see what that's doing. Let, let, let's see what, what comes into mind. I, I like this. Okay, so your favorite comfort food? Korean barbecue. I don't Ooh. know why I said that. I barely go, but I love Korean barbecue. Just that anything. sounds so good. <laughs> what, what is that? What is it? <laughs> oh, you you rock up to a place and um, a Korean barbecue place, oh. and they have like just a whole bunch of meats and vegetables, and you kind of just like you fry it in front of, you know, at, at the table. Oh. They have like a fire, and you got to cook your own meat and stuff. Oh, and that sounds amazing! It's, it's literally delicious. Um, I go to a specific place in Takapuna, um, and that. it's just it's just they've got it all set up. You go, you get the food. <laughs> Go back to your table and this that's is all amazing kind of chuck it in it's <laughs> oh that would actually okay so that's more like to go out or to a restaurant but say for example that's for i would yeah like for example you're in bed you're having your day off from you know from everything that you've been doing at work and you're gonna lay in bed and you like snacks what's your favorite snack what would you grab pineapple lumps pineapple lumps oh. okay so i feel like because you're on the other side of the world, you have very different <laughs> snacks to what we have over here. But that sounds very tasty because I love pineapple. It's, 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 I don't know how to explain it. It's the it's inside great. is this pineapple flavored chewy Ooh. thing and it's covered in chocolate. It is delicious. It Did does, you see my face have, light up? I love chocolate. <laughs> it doesn't have the texture of, um, of pineapple at all. It's like a chewy pineapple Flavor it it sounds really good. It sounds it sounds definitely tasty. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna have to ask you to send me some. Yeah, absolutely. One hundred percent. Okay, <laughs> so um oh this is a good one. Um, tell us uh, something. For example, uh, the one thing people wouldn't know about you by first meeting you. Just like a fun fact, just something that you wouldn't naturally really think when I'd be like, oh, hi, I'm Chelsea. And I'd be like, oh, hi, Chelsea. And then... Um, oh, it's not... The first thing that came to my mind is my brother is my personal trainer. I don't oh, like, <laughs> that's like, good. That's, yeah, actually, you, that's so handy. Have I you know, been working I, out during quarantine as well? Like, because, you, I mean, you look great. You honestly, you, you look amazing. Thank you. Um, during quarantine, it was more like YouTube YouTube videos. To, oh, okay. um, yeah. So, I, and that's something else I could definitely recommend. You know, yeah. just to get, but not just particularly go outside. But you've got some really cool, um, you know, videos out there that you can definitely use. And if you don't get have some really workout videos, going, yeah, I get it done. But yeah, you're right. My brother, my brother is my PT. Um, he that's nice. Has, he's studying and he takes me for trainings like five five times a week. He's also oh, my wow. younger. brother. So I think he likes... Your younger him. brother? He's my younger brother, yeah. So your younger brother is definitely there to get you into shape and get you going. That's nice. I like that. That's, <laughs> that's good stuff. Okay, so let's see another one. Let's see, I have like a nice little list here of little things that I like to ask you. Um, oh, this is a nice one. What um, You feel most empowered wearing what? A really nice. That's really interesting. It's hard, huh? Yeah. yeah it is hard. Um, a new dress Fair that enough. I've chosen. Yeah. 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 I mean, definitely a new a new pair of clothing, for example. Yeah. Yeah. I got this new little dress, and it makes me feel very great. And it. it thank you. <laughs> you know, there's little things as well. For example. Uh, I one of my friends said she feels most empowered when she wears her hair up. Oh wow! Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. But that's, like, I think that's a strong one as well. That's I think like that's empowerment for females. Definitely. You, know, you mean business? Mm, you know, one hundred percent. I think I think that was a lovely answer as well. 
Okay. Um, oh, this is nice. So what's, in your opinion, what's the best thing about your country? Is it bad to say my prime minister right now? Like, <laughs> Not at all. Oh, 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 and, and New Zealand's genuine natural beauty. I know that's so happy to say, but... It's really not. Natural... I understand you completely. I've never <laughs> been and I think it's absolutely stunning. So <laughs> I, I definitely agree. But uh, also about your prime minister, uh, tell me more about her. How did the like election go? Uh, I think she's honestly doing an amazing job. Like a lot of people must be proud of her. Did she get hate in the beginning? Was she like, uh, was everyone in favor of her or how, how did that go? Um, I think everyone tends to get hate because it's, you know, just who you support. It's, right? Yeah, uh, it's normal. But it's really interesting, like, the way she got into Parliament. Um, she, so initially, it was national, definitely leading. Um, but towards the end, she kind of made a deal with New Zealand First, um, yeah. which combined with their, like, combining their votes with New Zealand First, um, mm -hmm. kind of led, uh, led, uh -huh. led in Parliament. Um, and, you know, I feel like it was definitely a lot of people felt cheated. But considering the way that she has led the country, um, how she dealt with many of the things New Zealand has gone through um definitely just you know she's she's an inspiration to all I mean New Zealand's such a small country uh um, yeah. in the world and for us to be on you know national like not national like world news that's news yeah crazy. everyone sees how good you guys are doing and it is an it's very inspirational because uh people are also looking up to how uh, you guys are dealing with the the pandemic and it is inspirational because you see that the numbers have gone down so much uh where like where you're where you guys are at and it's it's, it's incredible you know uh i feel like uh, the whole world can definitely get a few tips from how, then, how it's going you know yeah. that you'd, just... I'd, I'd be very proud to be from new zealand right now if <laughs> i was you chels definitely no and you know what it's just, you just really got to trust. I mean, from a New Zealand trust perspective. Trust the process, huh? Yeah, you, sorry. Oh. It's okay. okay. All good. But yeah. Um, yeah, you, <laughs> you really got to trust the process. And um, I think what we did, New Zealand as a country, we all kind of just united, right? Yeah. So when it came to, you know, because during COVID, we had daily updates. And they were very, New Zealand was, uh, Jacinda was very transparent yeah. um, with what was happening and how they were going to deal with things. Was and uh, when things, when, when we got lifted from level four to level three, she was very clear with what we can and cannot do. Yeah. Um, and because of that, you know, and because New Zealand tuned in literally every day to see what the, the was. Yeah. Yeah, um, you know, basically people, just being very open with you guys and telling you yeah. everything. That's nice. I think that's and great. New Zealand came together as one, really. And um, I mean, because we listened to her and we trusted her, um, we were lucky to get to the result we have today. Oh, yeah, exactly. Very, very proud moment, I can imagine. <laughs> Okay, so I want to switch it up a little bit because we want to keep this nice and fun. Uh, let's talk about the pageant. Uh, have oh. you had any more updates on uh, how everything's going, like with the, the Miss Asia pageant? Because you were telling me earlier on what, what's happening with that at the moment. Are you excited to, to crown the next queen from obviously maybe next year when that's going to happen because we've got to wait till COVID's over? Um, for us, uh, we're doing it in September because, mm -hmm. it's like Gati said, we're we tr you know we're we're at the position we are at, at now. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, we have a really cool bunch of girls. Uh, oh. I met them a couple weeks ago through a Zoom, so we're still trying to see you know, perfect Zoom call. <laughs> exactly, and it's really cool because um, you know the whole of New Zealand have we understand that we can definitely work from home. You mm -hmm. know, so it's um, it's just made being, being connected so much easier. We, we, there's really no excuse for us. Yeah. So, um, yeah, um, I met them the other week. Um, the pageant's in September. I'm really, really excited to um, 
Get going. I love yes. that. That's so nice. Oh, Chelsea, we have a question come through. Sorry, guys, I'm so close, but I just need to have a quick look what they're saying. So a question to you both. With the current COVID-19 pandemic, how would you encourage the girls at your age to become more confident in themselves, especially during this lockdown? Okay, Chelsea, the words for you, I'll, I'll give a little <laughs> chat afterwards. Um, let me just really read into that. Just sorry, give me a sec. Of yeah, course. no. Um, how would you encourage the girls at your age to become more confident in themselves? Well, I think it's just definitely about being staying connected, right? Um, like I understand, like COVID nineteen has definitely made it harder to you know meet new people. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think trying to stay connected with your friends and really trying to what are the words Cheyenne like okay so I I think the best the best thing is to definitely keep in touch with your friends especially when you're feeling down a little bit because your friends always know how to cheer you up uh, confidence level I what I did personally I thought it was nice to sometimes even just do my makeup at home you know when you say when you have like a little time out well my time out was either having a little bit of a lazy time or even just sitting in front of my mirror and quickly putting a little bit of makeup on putting something cute on like for example today you know there's definitely a confident boost I mean we gotta we gotta feel pretty sometimes because it's really easy just to put on your your joggers and just yeah you, you just feel like uh i'm at home anyway so what does it matter but it does help a lot more once you're you feel a little bit glammed up right i think that definitely helps your confidence yeah. a little bit play and dress up take a picture <laughs> you know like you know just just we can stay connected on social and uh definitely uh because we have our followers and friends like it's always nice to receive a compliment when you when you're looking and feeling good and i think that always helps a lot and uh definitely in the pageant world i feel like uh, definitely our group we was all so close like we were all great friends and everyone was always like lifting each other up and i think that helps with your confidence anyways when other people make you feel good you feel good so yeah definitely definitely stay connected and just make yourself feel good always helps <laughs> absolutely 100% okay I have um one more little thing uh again coming back to uh pageant stuff so our advocacy for Miss Asia Pacific International was love the difference and diversity mm -hmm. so I want your opinion on loving the difference and diversity you know because it was a big thing and oh Oh, sorry they, they just said good answer thank you okay, no problem, guys um no but diversity love the difference also especially um going back to what happened a few months ago with um you know like black lives matter and stuff like that i think it's something very close to the pageant as well so what's your opinion i feel like there's two many of us just to try and put us all in boxes yeah. you know um everyone is different in their own way exactly um, and and you know people are better at different things and just to to appreciate and like understand that we're not all going to think the same or, or we're not exactly. all gonna... appreciate i said exactly appreciate like the uniqueness of each individual yeah. and just really i feel like um everyone just needs to come to an understanding that no one will ever be the same no like no be. one you may have a lookalike somewhere but they're <laughs> still not the same person you know and we just yeah. have to really love and accept uh that we live in a world where everyone is different and everyone is beautiful no matter what they look and like what? exactly and that doesn't make like your people being different to you doesn't make them any less less of a exactly yeah. everyone is like i feel like we should all just have like equal you know diversity it mm -hmm. just means being different but exactly what you just said doesn't make you any less because it really does not no absolutely I and mean, so we're all human we're li yes we're human <laughs> beings except we're, we're all here just trying to have 
you know, live our lives and have a happy life and yeah. trying to and pull pe- like push people down is just why is how is that going to make you happy? You know, just that's what I said. We're here to lift each other up, right? Yeah. We're like again coming back to the confidence thing. Like when you uh, help other people, like it makes you feel good as well, and it makes that person feel good. Which then yeah. it, you kind of have to see it like a chain, don't you? Because if if you help someone that will motivate them also to make someone else feel good and i just feel like the world would be a better place if we were just more accepting right yeah <laughs> i have to okay. say hi to mila remember yeah I, I was literally just reading that comment uh mila was a, a makeup artist and yeah. she was amazing yeah. make yeah. us look absolutely yeah. beautiful we love you too mila <laughs> I remember you so, uh, so much. You just transformed me. And I was like, oh my gosh, makeup can actually sit like that on my face. Mm. <laughs> awesome. Good, amazing memories from the pageant. Okay, so I want to ask you one more little thing before we wrap this up. Um, can you tell the viewers and me, because I'd like to know too, just like a nice little quote that we can take into our daily lives. You know, it's always nice to have a, a little thing to have in the back of our minds I, I love reading quotes so yeah just tell me uh, a, a nice one <laughs> tell us have one. Um, and it was said by uh my very own prime minister Jacinda Ardern um one that really really did uh, stick out to me and it was be strong but be kind we will be okay yeah everyone yeah. we will be okay just the simplicity be okay. is beautiful <laughs> Mm, thank yeah. you <laughs> yeah no it's it's just so you know it's, it's it's exactly what you just said it's simple but it's right and it's it's just nice that's that's one i'm gonna remember i'm gonna have to message you after this just to write that down one more time for me oh, thank you i love that. that okay chelsea do you know what it's been an honor having you here and speaking and chatting to you, you so i much. hope i've missed you so much i know <laughs> I know I missed you too do you know what I really enjoyed our um you know pageant times together I remember our little catwalk sessions in the back oh wait sorry one last question I see over here before we log off uh tips to all the girls who want to join Mappy okay Chelsea for me honestly be true to yourself go in as yourself you're there to heal you and to build on your skills not anyone else's yes if you would or you don't win at least you know that you know like you're improving yourself you're not there for anyone else but yourself so please just stay true yes but- i love that do you know what i i you couldn't have said it any better i'm not i'm not even gonna i'm not even gonna answer because that is literally <laughs> no do you know what it is though because um a lot of people um you really just have to go there and enjoy the moment, really get to know all the girls that you meet there because you learn so much. Like I learned so much uh, from from everyone there. Also like building up confidence and how their life to life was and just take it all in, everything, just take it all in. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, so <clears throat> what, do you want to give the viewers just, a few more tips about productivity with COVID-19 and then we will let this live and we'll have to say our goodbyes and get going. Um, So I think I'll just take away, like outline the main points. Perfect, Uh, yeah. And that most definitely has to be try and think of a routine. Um, Try to make sure that you have significant times of your day where you have to either do something or you have reminders that you have to break. Yeah. Um, so like for example uh just to reiterate you know mm. you know what i have to make lunch for my family uh, yeah i like that you know, that's I'm a good one my family. just make sure that you have time to just take know, it yeah yeah I, I i definitely understand but, but uh, you know what what you said about the alarms i think that's a good one for everyone to remember because like you said we do lose track of time especially when you're at home and working hard and stuff and uh, maybe like daily uh, care routine, like, you know, uh, even self-care going, uh, like just taking care of your skin, for example, just putting a little cream on, just taking a little break and stuff. I think yeah. definitely good and ones. Making, and making sure that if you're going to be working for the day, you know, like you said before, just re- like 
put some makeup on or yeah so the confidence on. part yeah like that yeah. as if you were going to work out because i know a lot of people when they do go to work they put a little bit of makeup on and stuff or they get dressed up for work or obviously depending where you work but no i definitely think it's a it's a good thing to just stay it just, it just brain on it just yeah. says okay it's time to get stuff done let's go yeah definitely perfect i, I mean <laughs> thank you guys yeah no thank you honestly it, it was so it's just nice to have a little chat i'm sure we'll get chatting after this as well so <clears throat> i just want to say thank you to you and also to the miss asia pacific international new zealand for everything they do for you also and uh yeah also i just want to send my love and my prayers to uh lebanon because obviously in the news you've seen what what's happened there which is very scary um very devastating as well i like i can't imagine what uh people are going through there um for everyone that's watching here um you can do, do a donation through the miss asia pacific international page on instagram um i think a lot of people would appreciate it um so if if you want give that a look and click on it and see what's going on so yeah just wanted to add that to to this oh absolutely um it's, we see it here in new zealand and it's yeah. it's absolutely horrific so my prayers also go out to everyone yeah. in Lebanon. Um, yeah yeah, yeah definitely no worries okay so we're gonna cut this live now chelsea again thank you so much for joining us and thank you for all the great tips that you've been giving us and i hope everything goes well for you and sending my love to you and your family as well thank you so much Shai, for having me <laughs> no worries <laughs> bless okay dokies see you bye, bye. bye. Okay, guys, thank you again. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed. And uh, you'll be able to catch this live. Um, we'll post it again. So make sure to tell your friends. And, yeah, sending everyone lots of love. Stay safe. Stay at home. And all good. Bye. Mm.